Hello, beautiful. Welcome to the United Way. My name is Ralph Dukan, a Manchester United fan just like you guys. I mean, today we'll talk about the latest Manchester United news with a little bit of Greenwood, a little bit of uh, Sefrem Amrabat. We'll talk also about uh, the transfers. and. But yeah, before we start, I just want to uh, give you guys some updates also in regards to our latest signing, which is uh, Rasmus Holland. Yesterday, he did his medicals already. I think these are just formalities. I think everything is going to be okay. Rasmus Holland will is a Manchester United player, but he will be presented in Old Trafford in Manchester in Manchester today. <clears throat> so sometime later today, we will do an official video and come out with all the necessary uh, statement given in this uh, um, presentation process in regards to my Rasmus Holland. But before we move on with the with the general news uh, in regards to Manchester United. I would want to ask you guys a question in regards to Rasmus Holland. What will be a good season for Rasmus Holland for you? So I know basically it will be goals. How many goals will Rasmus Holland score this season? So it's yours to answer. Drop your comments below. What are your feelings? Are you positive about the signing? I, I hopefully I think yes. Because if you want to ask me personally, I'll tell you guys for free that uh, Rasmus Holland. I think since uh, Wayne Rooney, Manchester United haven't signed an up-and-coming prospect in European or some say world football in su with such a caliber. So it is important that we did this deal with Rasmus Holland. And even what is most important is that Rasmus Holland wanted to come to Manchester United. So for him, it's not only about the money, it's about the dream, you know, coming to Manchester United. Yes, United, we have had some attackers. You can talk about Edin, uh, Edison Cavani. You can talk about also the attacker, Swedish attacker um, from uh, uh, from uh, who plays now in uh, who has just gone on retirement. How do you call Ibrahimovic? Yeah, you can talk about a lot of them. And Nigeria international also who came to Manchester United, but these were players who were at the end of their con, their 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 peak, and they just came to. I mean. Yes, they, they, they like Manchester United, but again, you see what I mean? They were not like young players, which you could make uh, more out of it. But yeah, guys, I also want to tell you guys, so just to take something to take note of is uh, we have now a Telegram group. You can see um, uh, there's the Telegram group here. Are you seeing it? This is a Telegram group. Are you seeing that? So just put your phone, your camera, and you get into a Telegram group. If you want all the breaking news when you're sleeping at midnight, we'll be sharing all this together. And also we have a Facebook group. As time goes on, we'll know each other. Each other. Yesterday we did a video about Mason Greenwood, which was a good uh, video, which most of you reacted to the video. I know Mason Greenwood personally. He, 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 there are a lot of Nigerian fans, a lot of African fans, a lot of South American fans, a lot of African general fans who are, who are excited with this young kid because he has been one of the, most, the best prospects in terms of talent. And I do understand very well why most of you like Mason Greenwood because he plays the way we play back in the continent, the African continent. He's a talented player. Yes, he did a mistake, but he, I mean, in terms of his, his uh, job, he is a charismatic, talented player. So Fabrizio Romano has come out and said, uh, this is the latest about Mason. So I know Romano has come out and said, it's just a couple of hours and even days when uh, Manchester United will have to sort out the Mason Greenwood issue. Yesterday we talked about uh, yeah, they were about days, but Fabrizio has insisted, Romano, that it is just a couple, a couple of hours. Even it could be after, it could be today. It could be, I mean, just just stay tuned with us, and we will get you guys a breaking news immediately comes into it. And for that, you know what to do: just subscribe, always like the video, so we can build be uh, in yeah a very big community from our continent as well. But yeah, as I said, um, um, I think my opinion about missing Grew is yes. He did a mistake, in my view. I think uh, everybody does this mistake. But uh, let me tell you, some have said, "All right, when would have you? When would you say what would what would have Mason Greenwood done for you to say, okay, you don't want to see him play for Manchester United?" Let me just put it clear: if Mason Greenwood would have killed someone, yeah, I mean, uh, I wouldn't want a killer to play for Manchester United. Full stop. So, uh, but in the fact that he did something. He did. Uh, he misbehaved. Let's put it this thing because there were kids. This something when he was like nineteen years old, nineteen, uh, with, with his girlfriend. Now the mother of his only child, and it's a. It, it's a. It, it, I mean, you can write a book out of what happened with Mason Greenwood. Uh, uh, that the fact that it happened with uh, his girlfriend and might be his future wife, 
uh, is something which we we as human we have to put some human factor of and those of you i'll say it i don't care I, and most of these most of these guys who are behaving this this crappy way of trying to go into this young man's privacy and private life uh, those are the guys those are the, the people when you up their life they do crazy things things you won't even imagine i am really sure about it because i've come through people like that in my life i'm not uh I was born at night, but I wasn't born yesterday, you know, it's last night. So, um, I, I mean, I know pretty much well that most people who are trying to be these perfect people who never call, who, who never give forgiveness, oh, he said disgrace. Even if, if, if Mason Guru committed a hyper crime, believe me, Adidas will come out firstly and just tell him, we don't want him into your team. But Adidas has signed a contract with Manchester United yesterday. I told you guys in my previous video, if you haven't watched it, we'll put it somewhere here. You can watch it. Uh, signed almost a billion dollar on Manchester United, but they did not mention about Mason Greenwood. They said, even in my previous video, I said five years, five days ago, Adidas came out immediately when that rumor was there and said, we have no influence in this decision of Mason Greenwood, which means that they are on the fence. But guess what? You know who is not on the fence? Ralph Dukan, I'm not on the fence. I think Mason Greenwood should be in Manchester United. The only reason I will tell you I don't want Mason Greenwood to be in Manchester United it's simple. The only reason is his mental health. The only reason is because we have, there is an active idiot. I'll just put it this way, idiot, active idiot. Says there's nothing to describe such people who think they can always take advantage of people's uh, uh, misfortunes, who will, will whistle when Mason Green is playing, who will um, shout uh, racist word when he's playing, I and mean, will claim to be, to be pro-women when he's playing, you know? <sighs> And um, yeah, this is what will happen in me, uh, exactly when he starts playing. So my uh, theory about Mason Greenwood, I want to tell you guys what I think will happen, what Manchester United will do with Mason Greenwood. Mason Greenwood, Manchester United will, they are trying to test the waters, you know. They, I think what Manchester United will do is they will actually make, a, because what I'm seeing online now, I'm looking at all the social medias, I'm seeing that Manchester United, uh, they're, sh they're talking a little bit about Mason Greenwood. Now he has a child. They're showing a lot of pictures about him and the girlfriend. And uh, I think they will have something like an interview in the coming weeks. This is my view. This is the way it works. This, they, it's called a PR. I mean, there will be a public relationship, uh, uh, public relationship um, uh, videos about Mason Greenwood, talking about his life, what he has gone through. Basically, there will be an interview with Mason Greenwood. And they want to test and see what, how the public react to that even interview. And uh, if the interview is, re, re, uh, if the reaction is 50 50, Guru, they will be, I mean, Guru will start training with Manchester United. The thing is that with, with European football and European business, because football is business, uh, public relationship is very important. It is massively important. That's why you see when there is a scandal in any. Uh, TV station someone has to resign someone has to lose the job that is how that, that is just how it works in this organization so well we have talked a lot about Greenwood but let's go straight to the other stories because we tried to make it 15 minutes Greenwood has taken us roughly 8 minutes which we wanted to be 8 minutes but anyway Fred there have been developments here with Fred Fred um, Galakasara it's reported that Galakasara wants to give almost um, are ready to give uh, 15 million euros uh, that's roughly 15 million euros today it's like 13 12 or 12 uh, million pounds for fred which we were not expecting we were expecting at least 20 million for fred um um there have been also some reports that for uh, talking about fred leaving there have been some reports that says uh, amraba safina amraba the moroccan midfielder who plays for fiorentina who wants to come and play for manchester united He's, he has told Florentina he is he has chosen only Manchester United. This is Fabrizio Romano has com confirmed that. I'm not sitting here and talking about things I don't know. We, I read this information a lot and we talk, we speak as United fans. So Safim Am Amrabat has come out that he has chosen Manchester United full stop. That's where he wants to go. We know Liverpool were interested. So at some point, um, Chelsea also were interested. But yeah that's where we are with Safri Amrabat but for him to leave you Manchester United are made it clear you we have to sell at least two players and those two players will be Fred we have to catch in on Fred Van de Beek and maybe McTominay so I think McTominay which uh, Manchester United has uh, put a price tag of 40 million pounds I think with 30 million we can let McTominay go to, uh, to, to uh, West Ham I think um, Donny van de Beek going to France to I mean sorry to Spain because we know we read yesterday that uh, Real Sociedad 
wants Donny van de Beek, and uh, I think Donny will go. Uh, I mean, we, f between f fifteen and twenty million, uh, twenty million pounds. Then we come. You know, then we talk about uh, Fred, which we know uh, Galatasaray has come out again this morning and said that we in they are ready to give an increase in in, in uh, offer for Fred to go to to move to Galatasaray. So fingers crossed, because uh, no um, no matter how you want us or what you want Manchester United to buy or which players United also the club has to start generating cash by selling players yes we know also that the Swedish player for uh, the Swedish player Swedish uh, stroke Cameroonian player Elanga Anthony has left for Nottingham Forest 15 million we also know that uh, Dean Henderson the goalkeeper he went to the tour but he didn't participate in any game Ten Hag knows why. I think Ten Hag is not really happy with him because of uh, he has been running his mouth uh, the whole season last year with with um, uh, uh, with Nottingham Forest. Well, I, I think Nottingham Forest United will, will accept between twenty five and thirty million. It's not that easy. We can put some add-ons. We can put some sell-on clauses because United needs to protect United. I my my you know uh, I remember Fabrizio Romano speaking about this transfer during the pandemic, saying that there will be a little bit of uh, it will be straight by butter where you can change exchange players of similar value to different clubs um, because of the value because there was not a lot of there, were, there weren't a lot of money in the market. I think what Manchester United should do with is because there is a Manchester United tax when buying players. They also should be sell on clauses when United sell players. So, because nobody wants to buy players from Manchester United, expensive because United is an expensive, I mean, it's a wealthy club. Let's let's accept that. But what United should do is okay, we give you Von, Von, Dolly Van de Beek for 15 million, right? But if there's any sell on clause, we have 15, 20% in it. It can even more an aggressive 30%. So, it's a good deal for today, but it, that's not the end of. End of the day, uh, end of the day, which means in two years' time, if he picks up form and United wants to buy him, uh, first refusal will be Manchester United. Sell on clause, United wins it as well. So it's a win-win situation. You have the player, and you know the player wouldn't play for you. Though I mean, we, they are not all clubs. You are not selling to Real Madrid, right? The sell on clauses are mostly accepted by uh, medium class team. I don't want to say small clubs, but let's put it this way by small clubs. But massive clubs like Real Madrid, Barcelona don't will not buy players on sell on clause because they have to make profit in sales. So I hope you understand where I'm coming from. So to round up the video, we try to do 15 minutes. Oh, we still have two more minutes. Yeah, we have to try to do 15 minutes. But to round up the video, I want to tell you guys firstly about Mason Greenwood. Fabrizio Romano has come out and I will call Fabrizio because Romano is someone who has a, a very massive network here in Europe on um, with working with a lot of clubs to get proper information about clubs and is someone which I highly respect in this industry. He has come out and said Mason Greenwood's decision is just a couple a matter of hours. United will have to come out clean and clear if, you not, if Mason Greenwood is going to stay or not. And uh, the second uh, story here is for Safrim Amrabat to come to Manchester United, United need to generate revenue, to generate revenue. And the only way we can generate revenue now, considering that we are already spent, how much is that? 64, five, uh, uh, like 150 million already. It's all, already spent, like over 150 million we have spent, if, if, I'm, if we, are, we are honest. 150 million, we need to generate cash. The only way to do that, we need to sell. So who are we going to sell? We have Williams in the defense. If anyone comes for William for 15, 10, please let's let him go. We have young players that can come. Fernandez is more better and they've been proactive than him, uh, the, the left back in the, the reserve team. We have Williams, we have um, uh, Fred, uh, we have um, McTominay, which I doubt United will want to sell. We have also. Um, Donny van de Beek. So hopefully we can get uh, those players out of the door. I'm so sorry about Donny van de Beek. I feel so. I feel a little bit guilty because a player which I saw in Ajax Amsterdam, he 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 understands the Ajax system. And if Ten Hag is willing to let Donny leave, then uh, you know, Ten Hag um, is a good example of talking of, of uh, seeing who, who Ten Hag is. He is not about favoritism. If he was about favoritism, Ten Hag would not. I mean, we clearly want to keep Donny as a player that he has had a history with. 
So um, that's where we are. But yeah, before we uh, uh, end this short vlog as we do, we have hit our 15 minutes mark. I would like to ask you guys, please, to tell me again, what is your expectation about the present player we are signing today, Rasmus Holland? How many goals will be a good season? Should Rasmus Holland score to be a good season for Rasmus Holland? 15? I'll go for 15. I'll go for 15. Not more, but a uh, good, uh, I mean, 15 for your first season is in bad for an attacker. Uh, of the caliber don't forget he's 20 years old and uh, we shouldn't put a lot of pressure in the young man but um there is this topic which i want to give out of the video i want to do about greenwood versus anthony uh, uh da silva uh in terms of the right wing because we had this chat on our facebook group by the way guys for us uh, follow us on our facebook pay, uh, group we upload videos there are a lot of conversation there we are there we have over a hundred thousand followers on that platform and um, yeah, there was this question asked about uh, one of our, our fans that is um, that missing can missing Green kick Anthony out of the first eleven? I will do a video about it. So but stay tuned with the United Way. And guys, I just want to tell you guys that we are doing this for those of you who stay tuned. Now we'll be doing a giveaway, giving one of these to you guys. It's a new stop, and so stay tuned. At the end of the season, you one of you will win this. So without all said, guys, thanks for joining the channel again and uh, yeah talk to you soon